KPC dia bermula daripada keputusan dia now um, whatever decision that was made whether to stop payment back in 2013 that was the prerogative of the administration then but you know something as important as this when you decide to make um, a decision uh, by right as a prime minister then he should have known that it would have invited some kind of legal challenge i, I feel like this is a good point to really start contesting Najib's narrative one by one because all that he had ever done in the last four or five years is to rewrite the version of truth. Um, and that version of truth is usually manipulated and it eclipses everything else so that it's being presented in the way of the narrative that he wants. So I think enough is enough. This is a good uh, point. And then he's dragging everyone, uh, and then you know, telling uh, not only half truths, telling lies, dragging everyone into it, blaming everyone, uh, just to save his skin, lah. So that's basically what he's doing, kan? in every single issue, including uh, in this uh, Sulu issue, which is uh, infringes uh, on our national sovereignty and has a major repercussion on the country. Kalau ada beratus-ratus laporan uh, mengenai tuduhan kecuaian oleh uh, Datuk Sri Najib paling kurang saya berharap pihak berkuasa ambil kenyataan daripada dia seperti mana kami yang membuat laporan ini akan diambil kenyataan secara rasmi oleh pihak berkuasa